Welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess, and today we're going to talk about my box of orchids. As you can see from the intro video, there are a lot of plants in this box, and a lot of things that I had to do to process them and get them healthy enough to join the rest of my orchid collection. But before I dive in into uh, what I had to do, I'm going to backtrack and give you some context. I got this box from my aunt, and she had been rescuing orchids from her office. Every time the plants would bloom out, um, they would usually just toss them and throw them away. She decided that she wanted to bring them home and care for them. Recently, she moved to a new place and she doesn't have space for all these orchids, and so she gave them to me. Now, I had no idea how many plants she had. I thought maybe two or three orchids is not a big deal. She ended up giving me about 30 plants or so, and that is way more than I ever anticipated. And so I was not prepared for this huge volume of plants. Once I got the box and I could inspect them a little bit more carefully, I noticed that the majority of them had a mealybug infestation. So I definitely had to treat that first before doing anything else to these plants. Now because of the large volume of plants I had to deal with, um, I didn't want to do the usual mealybug treatment. I decided that I was just going to rinse off all of the mealybugs off of the plants and hopefully I could minimize the population there. From there, I can spot treat as necessary so that I don't have to waste product um, treating these plants. Next, after treating for mealybugs, I noticed that some of the leaves um, didn't look right and some had signs of a bacterial infection and uh, some other things. So I decided that I would have to remove any of the infected leaf matter and hopefully um, the plants would still be healthy. Now I used my sterilized uh, pruners and I just continued to remove any dead infected material for most of these plants. It seems pretty drastic to cut off the leaves of the plant, but for the health and for the health of the plant overall, it's better to lose a few leaves than to lose the entire plant. After I did that, um, I left these plants outside under a 75% shade cloth for about two weeks. And then afterwards I went back to check on them. So a couple of the plants developed stem rot and crown rot. And at that point they had no more leaves. And so I was not gonna continue saving those plants. Those ones are pretty much dead. Um, any other plants that had um, lingering infections, I just trimmed off the um, infected material again and kind of left it aside. Now in a normal case, if I was dealing with a single plant, I would probably apply cinnamon to any open wounds to help seal it off, dry it out, and uh, prevent it from getting any infections. So in this particular case, I'm gonna let it air dry and that should be sufficient. Um, I think cinnamon just helps speed up the process, but it's not mandatory or necessary in this particular case. As for mealybugs, if I see any more on these plants, I just uh, spot treat it with some rubbing alcohol and physically remove it from the plant. So after a couple more weeks um, in quarantine, I guess, uh, these plants, I'm just going to keep an eye out for them to make sure that their health is stabilized, there's no lingering infections, and it doesn't have any more pest issues. I'm going to have to repot all these plants just to make sure that there's no pests hiding in the media, but for now I'm just going to leave them as they are and then slowly repot them one by one um, when I have time because to do all these all at once, I just don't have the means to do that at the, at, right now. I'm gonna go over these plants more in depth um, in a later episode and kind of give my thought process about how I repot these plants and what I do to uh, take care of them. But for now, all of these plants are outside under 75% shade cloth and I water them about once or twice a week since they're potted in sphagnum moss. Uh, currently we're in a heat wave so I may have to water them a little bit more and I'm just gonna keep an eye out if they're gonna start any sunburn or other issues. Um, but for now, they seem to be okay, and I just hope that they get acquainted and acclimated to uh, this current environment now. So that's it. That is what's going on with this huge orchid haul that I have that has now turned into a rescue mission. Um, I hope you'll help. I hope you'll follow along and see um, how these fowls are doing as I try to repot them and get them adjusted into my orchid collection. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, and hit the notification bell um, so you're always informed about when the next episode drops. I uh, hope you're all staying safe and staying cool, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!